Hello and welcome back to RxA's training video series. In this video we're going to go over this group by tile. The group by tile is relatively easy to use as there's just a couple of sections that we really need to to work with here. Again, if you have any major questions you can always refer to the help article on Domo's website about it. But what we want to focus on are what columns identify the grouping. So it could be that we have a few columns that relationally define uh, what we're looking for. So for example, a column could contain like a store number, right? Well, within that store number, there may be a bunch of employees. So there's a store level and then maybe an employee level to the transactional data. And then there may be another layer of that data, which would be uh, perhaps orders that their employees have, have taken, right? So we have the store, we have the employee, and we have the order, we can even go down another level and say the items, right? So there's layers of data. We have to ask ourselves what what do we want to aggregate on? In this case, we have some uh, sentiment scores associated with social media posts. And this is sample data here, but there isn't any information on uh, essentially what we want to aggregate on. So what I did is I used this Domo Dimensions calendar data set, and I talk about this in another video. To, to get this, uh, this month information, right? So he, what's happening here is I say, okay, for every date, give me the associated month. That's what this is. And I could just go ahead and rename this to make it a little bit easier. And what we have here is that we want to essentially aggregate on the month. So for a given month, we want to calculate the average sentiment score. And this would just say overall, right? This may not be exactly what we want, Depending on the data itself, we may want to add in other columns. So just be cognizant or aware that that, that can change things. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and just get rid of these data sets here for the time being so that I can actually go ahead and run this. And what you'll notice, what is uh, typical for this, is we expect our row count to go down. In this case, I've aggregated this previously, and there's there's only... 12 rows there, so we're going to see the same thing again, but when you're running with aggregation, it's always important to anticipate that we're going to, to get that. In fact, let's say that I didn't, right? Let's say maybe I got 11,900 and some odd rows. That would be an indication to me, if these matched, that I got the granularity wrong, that I had an error in here in my selection, that maybe I didn't actually go a layer up or to the appropriate layer that I wanted. So thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And looking forward to working with you further. Take care.